देखो Okay, we are sitting here at Craigencourt Farm, an ecological center in Scotland, and by the look of it, we've got something quite unique going on. And uh, it's an airship a technique evolved in America by an architect called Michael Reynolds. My name's Sam. Uh, I'm the project assistant for uh, Sustainable Communities Initiatives here uh, with Paula Cowie and the team uh, in Scotland. Uh, we're working this week with Michael Reynolds and his crew from America to bring Earthships to Scotland. Um, the issue is not whether Earthships will work here, because we know they will, it's how the different systems are going to have to be uh, changed and modified just that little bit to fit into the Scottish climate um, and the Scottish landscape, but also the Scottish culture and uh, economics and the different social um, structures that exist here that aren't in the United States. So basically the Earthship principle it's the walls are made out of uh, rammed tires uh, the, the, the the tires used tires are rammed full of earth and they densely packed earth yeah. and you use them as a kind of building brick right Around about now, you can start feeling that it's, it's it's stopping as you're hitting it. You can feel it's getting full. You can feel it's starting to get solid, and these side walls are starting to inflate. They're starting to lift up. So we're getting towards the end of the process. Probably the best way to explain it is with a, a conventional house. Yeah. Um, the heat goes into the walls and the walls will heat up and the heat will then transfer through the walls and pass out the other side so that you end up with a heat bubble around the house where the heat comes outside of it and then escapes and there's nothing to trap it. With an earthship you build it into the earth so the earth acts as more thermal mass absorbing the heat and then transferring it back out. In Scotland, the other thing we've done here is that to contain this heat bubble, if you like, we've added a thermal wrap, which is your uh, violet line just here, around the back, so that you've got your tyre wall, the heat will be absorbed by the tyre wall, and if it should pass through the tyres into this compacted earth here, it will then hit the thermal wrap, which is a, a glass uh, recycled composite, um, which we've lo sourced locally, um, and it will rebound and be trapped here and be forced back into the house uh, containing that as well. Mm. Outside of that, the other consideration we have for Scotland is um, we have to add a damp proof membrane. Oh yeah, um, moisture. Exactly, right. moisture. Scotland, the rain is wet in Scotland. <laughs> we have to have a damp proof membrane which surrounds the back, sides uh, and the floor of the entire earthship. Um, because it's built into the earth, we've got to stop the water that's going to uh, percolate through the, uh, through the hillside from entering the earthship. 
That's a major consideration. This is a blueprint for a ideal structure for Scotland because it's larger than the actual structure being built. There, Indeed. Right? This, this is um, Mike's plan of uh, a very basic uh, 3U, they're called, 3U Earthship, um, mm -hmm. to show all the different uh, specifications and things you can have in them. As you'll see, you've got your normal uh, televisions, lights, light sockets, mm -hmm. uh, kitchen areas, beds, that sort of thing. It's all on here. Um, the difference is primarily in the layout of the building and the fact that you have got these these tire walls. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a catch water system on your left. Um, the roof, of course, acting as a catchment system for rainwater, which is then channeled off into your two catch water systems at either end. Yeah, they, they said they were getting them. She might have tried to. She wanted to go three, so? Yeah. Just clouds. I think this truss might be on the wrong side of the two-foot center. Okay. I mean, it up here. Not quite as big. It's like our first flight. Yeah. Maybe the airline comes. The systems um, are quite separate from the Earthship, con uh, from the Earthship thermal mass concept. Um, the systems of the water catchment uh, and the, the, re the planter beds uh, within the Earthship, um, together with the power, uh, allow this thing to be autonomous. Um, the U system is built around uh, the orientation and your latitude on the planet. Uh, for instance, the sun is shown here. If you were building in New Mexico, which is um, sort of closer to the equator in the pl in the planet. Um, yeah, they're steeper the rays. Exactly. Yeah. You you have you have your glass slanted at a certain orientation to the sun in order to allow the sun to enter uh, at the appropriate angle to warm into the Earth Earth ship and the maximum solar gain going into all of the thermal mass back here in the in the U's. The U's can then be designed um, to a, a different depth depending on your specific situation. So. Uh, designing it for Scotland, for instance, Scotland is at a much higher latitude in the planet, so our winter sun is very, very low. Yeah, they're, they're um, more slanting, the, exactly. uh, the rays. The, rays are, the sun rays are much more slanted, um, and the winter sun is much more low in the horizon, so we have had to design our, our Earthship with a vertical glass face in order to get maximum solar gain in the winter when we need mm. that sun. Um, and in the, sun, in the summer, when it may get too hot, um, the, the, uh, the glass may act as actually a, a reflector and the solar rays can't get in. And they'll come down at a steeper angle and can't enter the rest of the building. So the Earthship is not just about keeping you warm, but it's also about keeping you cool. The really interesting thing is that the, the Scottish Parliament is also yeah. involved. They, they're aware of, of this and they've had several presentations for them. And uh, the interesting thing is that we can associate this with traditional Highland architecture, uh -huh. uh, embodying 
old Scottish building practices um, with a new way of, of living. And actually this new idea of an earthship is quite similar to the way that Scottish people used to live centuries ago in the Highlands, in the old crofts. Um, Mike Reynolds um, latched onto this idea a couple of years ago and wanted to try it in Scotland. And he's designed a, a black house come earthship, mm -hmm. um, which will hopefully be built uh, in the future. The earthship is a way of surviving. It's our shelter, it's our food, it's our water. Um, but to make them work, we have to be pragmatic. And we have to um, allow them to develop in a cultural context here and now, in a political context, in an economic context, and in a social environment that is extremely diverse, the cosmopolitan Scotland of, of today. We, we can then help people to build their own, because it's a very labour-intensive process pounding these tyres. Mm. So we can help people to build their own using voluntary labour from people who want to learn about it, they can build one, experiencing it and being trained in how to build one. Mm -hmm. So the client, or the person who wants to build one, gets their earthship built, the trainees become trained in it, and SCI can build the knowledge base further, um, make it open and free for all to access, um, and then each every, and every project cr creates a, a more solid foundation for the future. Mm.